If you need some help converting your on ice jumps off ice, then this video is for you. Here's a quick summary guide of some progressions for each jump, starting with the three jump or the waltz jump. Sink your arms and legs together by lifting them through at the same time. This is a great off ice exercise to get them ready. Then add that from a jump off your toes, just like you would on the ice of the toe pick. The three jumps perform with a half revolution and you can get used to spinning around your axis side on your landing by performing a little twizzle. Once you've got the hang of this, you can start to jump a little bit higher. Just remember your jump direction. Salco. So for the Salco, we normally start with this off ice exercise where we just get you used to rotating with your right side back, getting ready to swing through for the takeoff. Then on the ice, we'll normally do an outside three turn and then the Salco by its nature has a hook on the end. So this second hop after the turn is to mimic the hook. So you're almost facing forward. Remember again, your jump rotation. If you should jump in the direction that you started facing in and you can hop out the landings if you need to. Hopping around your landing side like this can help you with all your jumps. Okay, toe loop. So the first exercise for toe loop is to mimic your inside three turn and then lift your free leg through past your toe pick, just like you would on the ice. Once you've got the hang of this, you can start to lift it up to an H position where your knee comes up about hip height and then start to think about twisting that H into your backspin position. Then you add it into your jump. So the toe passes, H position twists into land backwards. Turn, toe, jump and land. Or again, all on the same line of travel. That's so important with your off ice jumps. Don't forget your twizzle around the axis just to help you hold that air position. Loop jump. Okay, a loop jump is an axis jump. So we'd like to start with our twizzle hops just so you can feel the spin around the right hand side. Shoulders turned right, leg crossed and the head slightly turned to the right. Try that first before you do your takeoff. Now loop is initiated from the shoulders. Very small shoulder twist helps you get rotation before you jump. I was exaggerating that there just so you could see it. Once you've got the hang of that, I like to use an inside three turn hop entry as that little spring off the hop can help you with the rhythm and timing of the whole jump make it feel a lot lighter for you flip jump so for flip jump i like to use this seesaw entry where we take a step forward and a step back you've got your right toe back uh, and your left foot flat in front of you every time you rock back onto your right toe your left arm should follow you back this is helping you to initiate the rotation much like the loop jump the arm goes first and then you catch up with your hips what we call the hip snap try and keep your head forwards as you do that rotation don't look over your shoulder and hop out your landing if you need to jump direction is just as important on this one once you've got the use to it you can add the outside three turn hop much like the salco we did earlier so it feels a little bit more at home like it would on the ice let's jump so let's I use the same seesaw. Now you can either open out your front foot to get the outside edge or place your toe slightly further behind you. To get the edge roll off for this let's jump off ice, I like to think about rolling off the front foot across to the little toe, the outside edge like it would be on the ice. Now you should feel that's a very smooth scrape of the floor. Just be careful of the carpet burn as you take off into your cross backspin position in the air. So seesaw, roll over, cross foot and hop. Before we do the last jump, can I just remind you to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Off ice axle, finally then, a few preps for you. Classic three jump, waltz jump into twizzle. Make sure you stay crossed as you land and keep hopping around to get used to it. And then practice the H position twisting into your backspin position. For a single axle, I do this H, H and then into air position just so you can feel the swap a little bit more definite and then try jumping from forwards all the way round to back to forwards. You can add your twizzle on the end and gently grow this jump bigger until you get more confident enough to try it. If you under rotate just hop out the twizzle landing so you keep the feeling of spinning around your axis side until you're ready to try it. Guys thanks so much for watching this far again please leave a like and subscribe share this with someone if you think it will help and follow me on instagram iSkateCoach. i'm dropping daily videos for skaters